Hey, what's up guys, Rana back again with After Effects tutorial and in this video guys, we are going to create electric logo reveal effect with Saber plugin. You can find this plugin in the description box. I will leave a link for you guys. You can download this plugin which is totally free and you can also find font link and music link as well in the description box. Go ahead download these files and install it. Once you've done that, you are ready to create this effect. So before we dive into this tutorial, let's have a look what we are going to create. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. Let's dive into this tutorial. Let's create a new composition. Composition, new composition. I'm gonna call this electric logo. 90, 20, 10, 80. 30 frames per second and 7 second long for this instance should fine and click OK. Now guys let's create a background. To creating a background we need to create a solid. Let's go to the layer new solid. I'm gonna change color something like dark blue color. Yeah. Click OK. Let's create another solid. Control Y and this time we will go with lighter color. Now click OK. Now put the dark solid on the top and go here and select your lips tool. By the way, you can click and hold. You can see all these uh, shapes. Now double click on the lips tool. We just created a mask on this uh, solid. Now subtract the mask. Open the mask property and feather this. And expand the mask 15. Now close this. Now select both of these solid and let's Pre-compose them. Go to layer, pre-compose. So I'm gonna call this BG for background. Hit OK. So let's import our logo. Right click here, import file and import these logo. First let's go with Spider-Man logo. Let's drag and drop this logo here. Let's pre-compose this logo as well. Let's go to layer, pre-compose. So I'm gonna call this logo. Let's open up this logo composition. Let's select the Spider-Man logo. Press S to reveal the scale property and scale it down. And you can position it wherever you want. Or you can use this align tool to center this. If you do not see this, go to window and check the align. And now close this. So guys, we created this composition just because in finally when we done this effect, we can easily change our logo by going to this logo composition and we can simply delete this logo and we can add a new logo the animation will be the same now close this logo composition now we need to select this logo composition and we need to go to edit and duplicate and we just duplicate this composition now turn off this composition just for now now select this composition and I'm gonna change the name of this composition first I'm gonna call this Saber logo now select the Saber logo and we need to trace this logo. To do that, let's go to layer, auto trace, and make sure your settings should same as mine. You can double check by pause this video. Once you're done, click OK. If you click there, you can see we have a mask around our logo. Now with the layer selected, Saber logo layer selected, let's go to effects, video copilot, Saber. First thing first, let's choose the preset. I would like to go with electric. Let's change the color. I like blue. Let's drop the intensity to 50. Let's go to render settings. Let's go to compositing settings and change the black to transparent so that we can see the background that we just created. Good. Now close this. Now open up customize core. In core type, let's change layer mask on our Spider-Man logo. Change the start size to 50. Make sure you are at the very beginning of this composition and make a keyframe on start offset and change it to 40. Now select the saber effect. Now duplicate it. Go to edit, duplicate. In the second copy of the saber effect, let's change the color to yellow. Now scroll down. Now get rid of this keyframe by clicking on it. Let's change it to 0. Now change the end size to 50. Now make a keyframe on end offset and let's change it to 40. And scroll down, go to render settings and let's go to compositing settings. Let's change it to add. 
So now we can see both save effect simultaneously. Now close this. With the layer selected, we need to duplicate the layer. Let's go to edit, duplicate. Now we need to delete these effect. Now go to with the layer selected, let's go to effect, video copilot and saber. Choose the preset, change the color. Now color doesn't really matter. Let's drop the intensity to 50. Let's go to the render settings. Change the compositing setting to transparent and go to customize core, change layer mask. Now make a keyframe on start offset. Now close this. Now we need to go to effect and preset panel and here we need to type displace and drop this turbulence displacement effect on it. Now we need to make a keyframe on amount and now we need to find another effect called RGB, CC threshold RGB and red green blue threshold should be the zero. Now let's just turn off below saver logo composition. Now find another effect. CC scale wipe. Now drop that effect as well. Now make a keyframe on stretch. Let's change the stretch value 1.2. Now finally we need to write expression all of these effect one by one. First let's go with this saber logo composition. Let's put it on the top. Now select the layer, go to Saber 1 effect and now alt click on mask evolution and write expression here. Time multiply 1500. Now copy this expression. Control C, copy it. Now scroll down, go to the second copy of this Saber effect and alt click on the mask evolution again and Control V to paste that expression. And we done with the top Saber composition. And now move on with this Saber logo composition to open up the turbulence displacement. Now I'll click on evolution. Here we need to paste that expression and we need to change the value to 200. Time multiply 200. Now open up a CC scale wipe. Now I'll click on the direction and we need to write expression here as well. Let's type wiggle start bracket 25 comma 25 close bracket and that's it we done all the steps here now we need to create a new camera let's go to layer new camera 35 mm preset should find do not camera and click ok click ok now we need to make these layer 3d accept this background now it's time to bring the sound effect Right click import file, now drag and drop this sound effect into this composition and press L to open up the waveform of this audio. Let's just hear the sound effect first, see what we have here. Audio jungle. So guys we hear the impact right about here. So we need to bring the marker here. Let's just bring the marker here. And we also hear the fade out right about here. Let's bring the second marker here. Let's move your time indicator at the first marker right about here. And we need to select the camera and press P to bring the position property here and make a keyframe here. And now we need to go back 10 frame by pressing shift and page up one time now make a keyframe here and let's go here on your camera tool and select track z camera tool and let's just zoom out if you hold down shift you can zoom the z axis much faster now select these keyframe press f9 to easy ease them now open up the graph editor click on fit all graph to view now select first keyframe and increase the speed of this keyframe and select the last keyframe and give influence to this handle by holding shift we're done here now close the graph edit by clicking on graph edit button now go in here the second marker here we need to make a keyframe and go at the very end let's just move z-axis backward 
like that. Now select these keyframe and move them like that. And let's just move the last keyframe at the very end. And now go back here in the second marker and select here Saber Logo Composition, both of these Saber Logo Composition and press U to reveal all the keyframes and let's just make a room here and select the selection tool and we now need to make keyframe on the start offset and end offset and here as well start offset turbulence displacement amount and CC scale wipe stretch and now let's just go backward 10 frame by pressing page up and shift and one more time now we move back 20 frame here and let's just make a keyframe and now let's go back here let's just change the start offset to 100 and change the end offset to 0 and now change the start offset here to 100 and let's just change the amount of turbulence displacement to 0 and a stretch vector 0 as well and select all of these keyframe and press F9 to easy ease them. Let's just close this. Now turn back on this logo composition here. And now we need to press T to reveal the opacity property and make a keyframe on here. And let's just go back 20 frame by pressing Shift and page up two time. Make a keyframe. Change the value to zero. Select the opacity. Press F9 to easy ease all the keyframe of this opacity value. Maybe we need to move it right here. Now it's time to write a title. Let's select your title tool and type here anything you want. In this case, I'm gonna type Spider Man. Let's make this layer 3D. Select your selection tool and position it. And now press T to reveal the opacity property. Now make a keyframe on opacity, just move backward 20 frame, 1, 2, let's change the value to 0. Now select the opacity property and press F9 to easy ease them. Now move these to right about there. Now we're done with this effect. Now let's have a look what we have done so far. Let's RAM preview this. Audio jungle. So guys, one thing I wanted to do with my logo, I would like to change the logo color. So to do that, I will add the fill color as well. I'm gonna drop that fill color on my logo composition. I'm gonna change it to white so that it will match with my text. And Spider-Man color, white color look better than black. So guys, this is how we can create our logo audio jungle audio jungle so guys we're done with our effect now let me show you how you can change your logo with this spider-man logo in case you need to change your logo you can change it by going to this logo composition and you need to drop your logo here and turn off the spider-man logo select your logo layer and press the s to reveal your scale property and now scale it down and now close it and now we need to select our logo composition and go to effect and preset panel and turn off this field color so that we can see only our logo now we need to go to saber logo composition and we need to turn off the saber effect and we need to go the second Saber logo composition as well. We need to turn off the Saber effect as well. Now we need to select the both of these composition and press M to bring the mask property. Select the mask and press delete button to delete it. Now delete the second one as well. Now we need to select first composition of the Saber logo and go to edit, auto trace and click OK. And now select the second composition of the Saber logo composition. Now go again to the layer, auto trace and hit OK. Now what we need to do now, we need to turn back on the Saber effect like that. Let's have a look. Audio jungle. Audio jungle. 
Alright guys, that's the end of this video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this, then you can smash that like button. If you want to see more, then you can subscribe to my channel and don't forget to press that bell icon alongside the subscribe button. With that, once I upload a new video, you will get notified every single time. So that being said, goodbye and see you again.